Hello everybody, and welcome back to me, Chanel, <clears throat> and welcome back to JPDE. So this video will probably be posted like weeks after it's recorded because I got a whole bunch of other things to do. Yeah, we're going back, we're getting back into the game right when we left off, uh, uh, in our dorm rooms and stuff. And I'm like going for a little nap, I guess. So let's go to sleep. Probably gonna have to get woken up. Damn, this bed is comfier than I thought. I immediately fell asleep hard, like a particular, like a particularly tired brick. Although that begs the question. In <clears throat> inconceivable, no fair, no fair, no fair. Is this, if this is so comfortable and I was so tired mentally and physically, why am I waking up? Shuffle, shuffle. Maybe I need a to get closer, but I'm so close already. Uh, I might have to do I might that might have to do with the person currently moving around on my bed disturbing my sleep the voice is unfamiliar so whoever it is it's not Ruby or Penny it's a complete stranger a complete stranger in my bed shuffle around yeah that's enough to get my <laughs> my brain to ex execute the wake up function uh yeah, that's a complete stranger indeed. See, I really like this character. Uh, I heard a little bit about this character, and I've seen this character. I know who this character is, but like, with this picture, it makes it look a lot more creepy. But this is my favorite character. Um, storyline. Maybe it's because of his semblance, but I've never had any problems with those before. Purple hair, the... Those eyes with double irises, her clothes are particular and remind me of the suitcase near one of the beds. So this is the other occupant of the room. Uh, this is useless. Let's try physical contact. Who? In a way, this is exciting, discovering new uses and limitations of my semblance. <clears throat> what is she talking about? She focused on whatever she's doing that she hasn't noticed I woke up. Obron, how are you feeling? We brought you... Yeah, this seems kind of awkward. Oh, hi, Penny, Ruby. Oh, hi there. Oh, well, what didn't... didn't mean to interrupt? Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's okay, I wasn't getting anywhere. Anyways, so, what? what's his semblance? I think it's stopping me from... C get away from Oberon. <laughs> Can't get, take it seriously, Oberon. Thanks, Penny. Thanks, Penny, again? Oh, you're awake? Then I can ask you directly. I <laughs> said, get off of me. Oh wow, <laughs> never seen a flying tackle executed with such precision. Whoop. But the strange girl dodged easily, jumping off the bed while Penny landed on it, sitting between her, me and her like a mama bear protecting her cubs. So stingy? Who are you? What are you doing in here? And what were you doing or what what were you trying to do to Oberon nothing bad I was just observing him for some reason I failed so I was trying to observe him harder yeah that doesn't make any sense you're our roommate right your clothes lo <laughs> look like your bags it's actually the other way around since 
I made the bags after I made the clothes, but yeah, smart guy. The name's Evelyn Dimrod. Wait, Dimmer? Damrot? Nice to meet ya. You mean that's... That the only... Wait, you mean that only you are going to sleep in the same room as the two of us? But you're also going going to be placed on our team, making the arrangement not transit transitory. What? Clever girl, that's the gist of it. I see. Penny gets off my bed and walks towards one of the others, specifically the one parallel to mine on the opposite side of the room. Hmm. Well, my bed is now king-sized. Ah ha ha, you- Aren't you keep being all jealous? Hmm? Oberon is currently very tired and vulnerable. Whatever you were trying to do, I won't let you take advantage of it. What are you talking about? I wasn't going to do anything bad, I swear. I just wanted to know more about my new roomie. And you couldn't have waited for me to wake up to ask? <laughs> That's right, I could have. She missed the more obvious solution and went for the most extravagant and borderline creepy one of just doing something to me in my sleep. Oh joy, our roommate is weird. <laughs> So, um, I think Obron was supposed to eat dinner or something. Alright. I follow Penny's eyes to the door where the tray of my food was laid and forgotten there earlier. Let me get that for you. No, I can. Penny seems torn between leaving me unguarded and to take my food but at the end it dis but in the end it decides to stay put allowing Evelyn to collect it well you seem all settled in so I'd better work on that weapon see you tomorrow thanks Ruby your next better your next thanks better be on crumbly scrumptious form you hear me eh What was that last part? I think she meant the word scrumptious. She wants to be paid in cookies. What a weirdo. <laughs> what, something on my face? No, not that I can see. Chapter 1, Team JPD. Is there supposed to be something said with that? Oh, okay. The night has been long and thankfully uneventful. Penny has been watching Evelyn. Evelyn has behaved for the rest of the night, but the red-haired girl on guard mode eventually unveered from the sanctuary. Taylor. Okay. So this morning, following my suggestion, we reached the in agreement. Why does it look so sad? Fine, I promise. No, 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 no. You have to stay out. Say it out loud. I won't use my semblance on my teammates without asking first. Much appreciated, Evelyn. She sighs loudly, like she has given up something really important to her. Or a source of great amusement. Things to you, things you do for your teammates. So now that we're all at ease with each other, the exam is in two days from now, right? Indeed, which means I should go down to Vale and pick up 
the materials Ruby will need for your weapon, Oberon. Then I could show Oberon around. I'm from Mistral, but it's not the first time I've been in Beacon or Vales, so I can, I can give him the lay of the land. I don't know. Come on, Penny, she promised to be good, no? And we should at least try trusting her if we're really going to be stuck together during this again. The examine more. I promise to scream for help if something happens. <laughs> we'll keep it to open spaces with lots of people. <laughs> and I'll write her name in blood on the asphalt if she hurts me. Okay. Uh, Benny, we were just joking. Yeah, it's not like he'd have time to. I slap one of my hands over Evelyn's What? I slap one of my hands over Evelyn's face and give her a small glare as as if I to say shush. What? I slap one of my over Evelyn's face. Like what do you mean? Do I slap her actually? That's really mean. <laughs> okay, you can go. Penny stood from the table as she said that. I blink and realize she hasn't had breakfast. Penny, what about your breakfast? Oh, don't worry. I will eat something in town. It's just that I, I want to be at the parts shop at opening hour and I have to go to Ruby first to ask her for what she needs. I see. Try and drink some water for that hiccup first at least. I will. She hiccups again. I will see you later then. Damn I hope her hiccups aren't like mine. It takes forever to Eww. What? You, you licked me? What the heck is this? You were keeping a hand over my mouth? Oh. You licked my hand. <laughs> and it was delicious. What? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I suddenly want Penny to come back. Well then, what do you, what do you want to see first? I guess I should familiarize, my, familiarize myself with the school, but what about we finish breakfast first? Yeah. Let's go then. Pick a place and I'll show you around. Uh, I already know what the office looks like. Dormitory, we're just in. Classroom. Mess hall. It's not like classrooms. Wrong button. Here's a classroom. You're going to be spending a lot of time in here. Considering I know next to nothing about Remnant. That's a safe assumption. What do you mean you know nothing about Remnant? Crap. God, we hadn't told Evelyn about my situation yet. And again, since we're going to have a night to be teammates, uh, screw it. It's not like she'll think I'm weird. See, the truth is... Yeah, and then I go on to explain this horrible story. And that's the gist of it. You don't remember anything except your name. And enough to function as a normal member of society, but nothing about Remnant. Huh, why is she staring at me so intensely? Evelyn? It's nothing. Anyway, you should probably try to not, and not skip any of your lessons if your brain is that empty. It's not empty, it's just ill-informed. Still, finding is the main skill of a hunter, but without learning about the job and remnant, you're gonna have a lot of trouble on the field. Or in the social interactions, I imagine the level of conversation you can hold with someone who doesn't even know what the hell you're talking about. <coughs> For example, yesterday Penny couldn't finish 
telling me about the Grim. I see ya. Well... Want Evelyn Sensei to teach you about it? Please. Grim are pretty much a natural enemy of humanity. Remnant doesn't have a lot of recorded history, but it seems like a long as humans have existed, so have the Grim. They have a few distinguishable traits. One, they are made of shadows with red eyes and bone masks. Two, they only attack humans unless provoked. Three, they literally don't have a soul, so they can't use aura. Yep, so far they have never been recorded, wait, never been a record of something non-living or artificially generating aura. They are still extremely tough con custom cons customers though, hence why hunters need to be to toughest mofos alive. <laughs> Is that so? I laugh nervously, not exactly feeling confident. Oh, come on. Have a little faith in yourself. I bet in a few weeks you're going to be kicking ass with the best of them. Maybe in the first year, we'll let it go. Well, let's go. Wait, before that, I swear to God, suddenly raises the rim of her top hat and sticks her left hand in it. When she pulls it out again, she's ha handing me an electronic device identical to one of those I've seen people use in Veil and Beacon. This is a scroll. I think it'll be a big help to keep track of all the new stuff. You can even call up an encyclopedia with a click. Is this your scroll? Nah, I got mine in my pocket. This is a spare one I, um, found. You always get spare scrolls in your top hat? <coughs> nope, so count yourself lucky. <clears throat> if you ever need access to your notes, you just have to tap on the icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Uh, we were just in the mess hall, right? Dormitories are... Um, whatever. Uh, so let's go... Oh yeah, we were here, right? This is where me and Penny trained yesterday. From what I hear, it's one of the two most popular training spots of the school. Not a lot of places where you can go all out and beacon. Plenty of open space, makes sense. Ideal if you want to train with someone, if you manage to find it empty, that, that's, that is. Huh, but this place is so big. <laughs> you only sparred with Penny so far, so you don't know what a battle between hunters or I guess Grim can become. Yes, but still, this is a school. Destructive and train can training match between the first and your student possible. We turn around towards the source of the noise. Two students, both girls, and one with a wild mane of long blonde hair and wears gauntlets from. Oh, that's yay. Uh, the other is red hair of similar length, tied in a high ponytail, and wields shields. Oh, wait. They're made of cardboard. They're moving around the atmosphere theater in what can only be defined as waltz of violence and don't seem that aware of their surroundings unless it can give them a strategic advantage. Exit left? Right behind you. We're just in the mess hall though, right? Feels like a wasted deviation. Learning where to go to get food is never wasted time. But we've been here this morning. What else can I do here other than eat? Earn some money, bucko. Excuse me? I don't know if you will have 
if you will have to pay it to tu tuition what since it means since it seems like the headmaster has particular interest in you but you still need to repay Ruby for your weapon right and I bet you want to repay Penny too somehow kind of she said she just wanted to be a friend but a good friend wouldn't let another friend's favor go un unreturned so to be a good friend I must repay her or maybe buy her a gift. Students can earn some granola by working in the kitchens so you can get paid and you can even work on your cooking skills. Good to know. I guess this wasn't a wasted deviation after all. Well, let's wait. Once again, Evelyn thrusts her hand up and grabs something. A small plastic card, no bigger than my thumb's fingernail. How much stuff does she have in that thing? What's this? A digital wallet? You'll need somewhere to stash your money, no? I'll hope to dear God she doesn't just find these lying around. Well, let's go now. Evelyn readjusted her hat on her head, taking care to leave one of the ears hanging out. Um, can I ask you something? Sure, shoot. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear those ears while also wearing a top hat? Wear my ears? Uh, yeah? Oh my god, you think these are fake? What do you mean, I think? No, she can't, she can't be serious. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Come here. You come closer, grabs my right hand, she slowly brings it to her opposed ear. Oh my god, as my fingers come in contact, it feels like real fur. It's so soft and velvety and warm, it's like a living thing. Oh my god, I just felt it twitch. See? Incredible. I run my fingers through the edges and gently trace the leather-like skin on the inside. It's actually rem reminiscent of feeling a rabbit's ear. Um, that's enough, no? I found myself bringing my left hand an exotic appendage, rubbing left bomb on the first side to care- <laughs> to care- cares it so cares cursed it softly or whatever hey <laughs> knock it off my right hand slowly descends the spot and the ears makes the scalp remembering that i said knock it off i start to strumble as suddenly shove my chest evelyn jumps back and brings her hands to her ear and try to hide it from me her face is scarlet as she comes back to me and she's breathing more heavily than before. What's the big idea? Playing with someone's ear like that? Oh, alright. Oh, I bet those are pretty sensitive. Sorry, I got carried away. The, the no by the novelty and the softness and... Sorry, my ears are awesome. I don't know. I know, but try to not get so carried away next time, especially in public. Yeah, there's hardly anyone in the mess hall at this time, but those who are here are staring at us. I will... sorry. Good, let's go then. Hey, what the hell does she mean by next time? Oh, this game is so fun, I don't know. So got the So got the path back to the dorm memorized. I think so, yeah. This should just be the first first year's dorm, right? Right. What about the other years? Huh? Where are they indeed? Wait, you mean you don't know? To be honest, I 
I don't think I've ever seen any student that isn't a first year and three or four three four second year ones but this is an academy with has a four-year curriculum right yeah but I've never seen third fourth year students around here that that sounds very unlikely almost impossible the academy is supposed to house what amounts to pretty much a small army. How can you just not meet senior students? Well, I'm sure they'll pop sooner or later. And if you if you befriend any students, you can come visit them here. I keep that in mind. Let's continue on the, the tour. So we've been everywhere. What about we? We can actually just go to Osmond's office. That's kind of weird. Good morning, Mr. D. Cabbage and Miss Dimrod. <laughs> yeah, Headmaster. Headmaster office doesn't look too different from the previous day, except the lack of an assistant in general. Also, I just realized he always carries around some kind of cup. I wonder if it's a tea or coffee he's drinking. Anything I could do for you? Not right now, Headmaster. Everyone's just showing me around the school. Wanted to come... Wanted to become better acquainted with my teammate and stuff. That's a commendable idea. Especially considering that there'll probably be all that's between me and death or expulsion during the exam. And speaking of teammates... Headmaster... Is there going to be fourth person joining us? Our apartment has four beds. Yes. Hopefully before the exam. Sadly, certain circumstances have come up. She will join the three of you, the three of you on the day of the exam. She. So it's another girl. Hmm. Too bad. I want to observe her a bit before the exam. Evelyn, no. Just a little bit, she won't even notice. You promise not to. To my teammates, but upon just meeting her, she won't be a teammate yet. I just have to, to do it before she before we say words to each other. Oh, believe me, there will be words if you, you act the way you acted with me to someone not half asleep. It's wonderful to see you already getting along. One of the most important bonds you'll make at Beacon is the ones with your teammates. All hunters and huntresses remain tied to their teammates in one way or, or, an or another after graduation. Huh? I told you we'd be stuck together for a lot longer time than the exam. Huntresses and huntresses are supposed to become paragons of strength, uh, staunch pillars of support for remnant able to stand alone against the tides of darkness but it's only when they come together that they can overcome greatest adversities i guess that goes double for simple students precisely naturally thanks for the pep talk headmaster come on oberon we got a lot more school to see if you never needed if you ever need advice my doors are always open. Thank you, Headmaster. I just realized he accepts me to become a hunter, doesn't he? Well, that's enough showing around the school for now. Let's hit the town. It's almost lunchtime, though. My treat. I don't want to end up in debt to the whole school. Main Street Alley Dust Shop. Let's go to the dust shop. If you're starting to become a hunter, this is one place you gotta know your way to. After a brief walk through Vale, Evelyn has brought me to a shop with various arrays of different colored sized crystals in the window display. They're as big as my fists and some as small as my thumb, others are in the shape of bullets. 
from dusk till dawn. This is the we were here before in the beginning game, weren't we? We built all this dust shop, and the only one that's allowed to keep its name after a Schnee Net merger currently finishing renovations. Dust. I believe we mentioned it the other day while I was while we were talking about weapons. But what's a Schnee? That's two questions. What do you want me to talk about first? Uh... We said that it was some kind of powder embedded... M... M... Is it... I'm just gonna say embedded with the power of elements used to power up weapons. Yes and no. Yes, dust is a mineral only found in powder form in the wild that contains the power of one of the four elements. But isn't there more? Like, isn't there, like, it wasn't there, like, uh, plant dust or something? Owen. 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 Be quiet. I forgot that it's like nighttime crap. Okay. So fire, water, lightning, and wind. But wasn't there fire, water, lightning, and wind? But wasn't there like other ones? Like I remember seeing a brown and I, I, I don't know. But it's nothing just used to power weapons. Most of Remnant's technology is based on dust. In one way or another, the most common way to use it is to fight it. The most common way to use it to fight is bullets and crystals. You can also embed your. You can, like, lace your clothes with dust that. <clears throat> That was more common in the old days. Or olden days. That sounds very versatile and cool. It's v and very important. Hunters can do some pretty cool stuff with... With just aura semblances. Aura and semblances. But it's how we... will How well you use those and dust together that sets you above the rest. And it also gives normal people a fighting chance. I'm a student at a combat academy, but almost anyone can learn how to fire a gun. Moving on, what's a schnee? Well, mentioned um, I mentioned a merger. What do you think it is? Merger is when two businesses become one, right? So, it's not a schnee, but it's a schnee company? Biggest dust traders in all of Atlas and one of the most powerful organizations in Remnant. They own close to 75% of all operations con concerning dust in Remnant. Extraction, refining, wholesale, retail, they got it all. It's a family business and since they, since the second generation came to power, they got into R&D too, so they sound, they sound important and powerful, but their business practices are not exactly ethical, typical, power corrupts mon and money is very powerful, so I guess it's better to not cross them, that's the most sensible thing to do, yeah, I like to cross them as much as I can. <laughs> I should be surprised, but I'm not. Maybe, though, it's related to something more than Evelyn's. Eccentries? Thanks for the information, Evelyn. You're welcome. Oh. What worth talking? An old man has gotten out of the shop and is now sticking a flyer to the side of the window. 
once that's over and done with, he opens the door of the shop and steps back inside. A closer reveal that it's an offering part-time position at the shop. Well, will you look at that? We found you another prospective job. You think I could work here? But I don't know anything about using or handling dust. The flyer says no previous experience required, so the old man is probably willing to teach you about it first. That actually makes sense. I definitely keep that place in mind once it opens. Bruh. Hmm, my customer order should have arrived. Right when I was saying we shouldn't cross a schnee, a schnee appears. Oh, I, we don't have to talk to Oh, Yeah, let's go to the alley. There doesn't seem to be much in this side street. It doesn't remind me of... <coughs> it does remind me of one of those dump... With the dumpster where I hid while waiting for Penny, though. Keep it in mind, anyway. This is my friend. Is a shortcut to to one of the must-know places in Vale, and that would be. Hmm, you're still not ready to know. Way too green. You're still not ready to know. Way too green. But I can tell you that it only opens at night. So she just brought me to uh to here to dangle a damn carrot in front of my face. And speaking of carrots, <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to ask you before, but what's the deal with the ears? Well, I had I thought it was obvious there cute, soft, and make me adorable. Okay, I got that. What <clears throat> I mean is, why do you have them? <clears throat> because I'm a fawness. Duh. Evelyn. You could have at least begged me a little. What do you mean? Why does she want me to beg her all of a sudden? Faunus are like humans, except they have some animalistic related traits. Some have ears, some have claws, some have tails. Every single one of them can see in the dark. Haven't seen many around, though. Well, you haven't been in Vale that long, and Beacon is mostly almost empty right now, remember? Faunus are not as numerous as humans and most of them try to keep themselves scarce. A lot of them prefer to live outside of the Four Kingdoms. In the middle... In the middle of Grim Country... <laughs> why is that? <clears throat> Racial tensions. Just think that the last big international incident we had an on remnant was about a bunch of big wing gathered ups all the fawny and putting us on the fish shaped island out of sight out of mind uh, um, that you're actually serious yep the island is called menagerie too it was supposed to be a gift after the great war but not everyone fell for it to be fair, Vale is actually almost completely in integrated nowadays, but that's not the norm. And then there's the whole thing with the Schnee Company. That's a dick move, <clears throat> if I've ever heard of one. But why? I mean, are the Faunus dangerous or something? No, no more than humans nowadays. No more than humans nowadays. 
when it was all rocks and lion cloth loin cloths we met we might have had a slight advantage but then why long story and we have a tour back to make a note in your scroll about it cute bunny owes me a history lesson owes me a history lesson you're actually making a note about it sounds important <laughs> what a good student. Teacher Evelyn is pleased. Glad you are. Bruh. Why is Blake here? What? So it just shows me Weiss and Blake. But we don't even talk to them or anything. It's just like, okay, here they are. Here we go again. Here we go again. And then they just disappear. This is Main Street. It runs all the way from north and and, <clears throat> and to the south of Vale City. There are a lot of shops. If you need to buy anything common or <clears throat> just want to grab a bite to eat, Main Street is a place for you. More specialized shops are scattered through the city instead. To find them, you need to know where to look. There's also a Market Street, but right now it's closed because of renovations. Uh, probably redoing the pavement and sub substituting broken glass. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> because Meteor. Still, Main Street is the best place for small shopping and to go on dates. Uh, yeah, wanna go on? Uh, if I ever find anyone wanting to go on one, sure. Oh, come on, you're not that socially awkward. <clears throat> I could be, maybe I just forgot. Well, so far you're not giving me that vibe, so you're... And you're attractive enough. Are you always this blunt? Nah, just when it comes, when I can mess with people's heads. Consider me messed with. Roger. Let's continue the tour now. But then we explored everything. That's pretty much it for now. But as you keep meeting people and doing stuff, you'll probably discover a new place on your own. Almost want to do anything. Almost sundown. Want to do anything before we head back to Beacon? Well, there's one thing. What did you say the name of this flavor was? Mm, Neapolitan. Oh crap, I skipped. This is good indeed. I wonder if I tried this before and have forgotten about it. I can just keep on liking it. it. I just had a fun thought. What is it? If I already tried this but had forgotten about it, I'm the only person alive who experienced eating Neapolitan ice cream for the first time twice. So unfair also. You're already able to joke about it after it it after two days. Guess Penny finding me right off the bat dulled the shock, and you've been kind and of helpful too. Only kind of? Hmm, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe a little more. Damn right. <laughs> Speaking of Penny, I wonder where she is. She's probably helping me with your weapon. Oh, right, I wonder how it's going. Uh, I can't believe I stayed up all night and all day working on this, but the the ideas just kept coming and coming and coming. Did no, this isn't our room, is it? No. No, but this is Ruby's room, right? Yeah. Thank God I settled on, on one design when Penny came by to ask me about the materials and managed. Also, oh, yeah, this is Ruby that we're. In. Like that the dialogue is why am I doing this to myself Ruby Rose you should have 
just said no, or you could have taken it easier, then they didn't need it, this thing until Sunday. <clears throat> Ooh, hey Ruby, still working on that thing? Hey Yang, yes, I am like a moron. I'm almost done though. Hmm. Actually, it kind of looks nice. Hmm. Our little push over is is it at least a good one of course it is a good one i'm i'm me remember and you're so, so severely sleep deprived you sure this thing isn't going to blow up in someone's poor in some poor guy's face of course not well 90 percent no i see wah Yay, let me down. Only on your bed. You damn whiz kid. Get some rest and then finish working on that weapon, okay? For the sake of both the user and keeping your record clean of accidental manslaughter. Well, look at the miss property damage. <clears throat> That's different. I was total control of my mental faculties when I trashed that club. Gur, stop being proud of criminal charges. When you stop being stubborn and get some sleep. Cheater, blackmailer. I bet Penny doesn't have to put up with this kind of stuff. People forcing her to be a responsible sleeper. Oh my god. Why is it general here? Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, I see a laptop there. That looks like my, my laptop. So you are positive you won't blow your cover and expose yourself. Yes, sir. I can properly simulate sleep and eating. Won't be a problem either, right? Aspen is now convinced you have special needs because you're of health issues, yes? Wonderful! I have health issues! I think this is unnecessary risk, Penny. Sir, I'm here to test myself as a fighter, but I think this is also a good occasion to test my level of integration with people. You developed an Elysian Knight 200 model to look more like humans, and to act more like human-like. Human to give people a greater sense of security. We both know how important it is. And Beacon is a more controlled environment, environment than Bale City, and the headmaster, as the headmaster said. I guess I will have to live with that amount of risk, will I? Yes, my assertions convinced him. What I'm, what I'm wondering is if he you are talking and taking that risk into account yourself. What do you mean? I have many battlefields, Penny, both without, both with and without weapons, and I had learned one lesson above all. People can unexpectedly cruel to those who are different. My files corroborate that. Corroborate. 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 I don't know. We have a war because some of us wanted to surprise individually another because some thought of those with animal traits as lower than even unnatural. I'm afraid of how they will treat someone who wasn't born yet. Was... Okay, we good. Okay. <laughs>